Welcome to mysterious Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun and one of our closest neighbors in our solar system. Today we're going to talk about 10 different facts that you may have not known about Mercury and we're going to explore some of the more coolest scientific discoveries about this beauty. Welcome to What the Math. <laughs> So let's talk about different facts about this beautiful planet. And fact number one is that this this planet is actually covered in ice, not specifically here, not in the region that's exposed to the sun, but it is covered in ice in some of the darker areas, specifically right here on the poles. You'll notice that as the planet spins, some of these regions, specifically the craters, don't ever really get any sun. And because they don't get any sun, they never get warm. And because of this, the ice that forms here stays there forever. And some of these regions are something like minus 170 degrees celsius even though the surface temperature gets really really hot the surface temperature can be um, as high up as 250 degrees celsius uh, whereas these regions are super cold so this planet has one of, one of the biggest if not the biggest uh, temperature difference in our solar system with temperature being as low as minus 170 degrees celsius specifically here on the dark side uh, to as high as uh, 200 300 degrees celsius on the bright side but really, it's the ice that's really interesting about this planet, because um, according to NASA, this planet may actually have more ice than any other planet in our solar system, even more than Earth. So uh, there is a lot of ice that hides in these crevices and in these dark spots. And some ice even forms on the dark side of the planet when it's away from the sun. And uh, that also means that there's probably a lot of water on the surface. And uh, obviously, this is a good sign for us to one day visit this planet. And not surprisingly, for some unknown reason, the Chinese actually call this planet the Water Star. But I think it's a pretty awesome description of Mercury, so it's not as dry and hot as we think. There's qu actually quite a lot of water on it. And fact number two is quite obvious. Well, this planet has no rings, it has no moons, it's all by itself, it's lonely, and it also has very, very thin atmosphere. So it basically almost looks like our moon in a sense. As a matter of fact, it has more craters on its surface than any other planet. And the reason why there's so many craters is, of course, because, first of all, there's no atmosphere to get rid of the craters. And secondly, there is no more um, any kind of volcanism or any kind of uh, geological activity that would actually cover them up. So even though there were volcanoes at some point a long time ago, there is nothing here anymore. And this planet is just kind of still and quiet and basically only has a bunch of craters on the surface that show us how violent the past of the solar system was and how many collisions this planet experienced. Fact number three, and this is actually related to craters, this planet has the biggest man-made crater ever. Specifically, this is from NASA's Messenger probe that in 2014 ran out of fuel and could not really correct its course anymore and at some point crashed somewhere on this planet. We don't really know exactly where, but uh, we know that the crater it created was really, really big because uh, first of all, it smacked onto the surface at a speed of about 8,000 miles per hour, which is really fast. And uh, it, it probably left uh, a crater that was about uh, 50 feet or about uh, 25, maybe 30 meters wide. And Messenger probe was only the second probe to ever even visit this planet. The first probe was a Mariner craft that visited this in 1974 and actually mapped out this planet for us. Uh, but uh, except for those two probes, we actually don't really know much about Mercury because we haven't visited this, uh, this planet as much as we did uh, Mars and Venus. And honestly, it's actually worth visiting because there's a lot of really interesting mysteries here. And of course, uh, the only one other probe that's being planned for uh, the visit to this planet is only going to take off in 2017 so there's still quite some time to go before we even come and come again for a visit here and fact number five about this planet is really the uh, the way it rotates and the way it orbits around the Sun so because this planet has a very elliptical orbit around the Sun and uh, it, it takes it approximately um, 88 days to orbit once around the Sun um, what's interesting about it is that it also takes approximately 58 days to rotate around its axes. Now, that doesn't mean that one day here lasts for 58 days. What, that's, what this means is that uh, because, uh, because of the way it orbits around the sun relatively fast and because of the way it spins really slow, 
one day from sunrise to sunset can actually take up to 176 days here. So it's one day on Mercury is much longer than one year on Mercury. And I can actually dem try to demonstrate how this even looks on this planet because it does have a very unusual uh, look when you stand on the surface. So we're going to land on, on Mercury for a second. And we're going to be looking into the sky, looking for the sun, because the sunset is about to occur. And basically what we're going to do, and this is actually one day per second, uh, we're going to uh, try to see what the sunset looks like here. So sunset is, uh, starts relatively simple, it basically is similar to Earth. But as the sun keeps going up, it will actually start changing directions. Because uh, of the fast orbit around the sun, First of all, sun at some point will stop somewhere in the sky and it will start going down again, which is really interesting. It's a very unusual sight uh, and it's going to happen right about now, I think. And there we go. It starts going down. And this is actually really interesting because it's still in the middle of the sky, but it now is going down back to where it uh, rose from. Then we'll stop again and continue to the um, sunset direction. So now it's actually going to go to the other horizon and finally set uh, behind the horizon here and this of course takes a really long time so it's somewhat uh, close to 176 days which is a really long time when you think about it so uh, because there's so much sunlight uh, and because there's no atmosphere the surface of this planet gets super 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 hot but at the same time because there is now 176 days of darkness this is where it gets super super cold and of course ice forms as well so it's a very interesting planet with quite a lot of differences in temperature. But uh, don't forget that this is actually not the hottest planet, even though it's the closest to the sun. Venus is a lot hotter. And let's actually explore the differences in temperature and other things by using Universe Sandbox 2. And so let's look at some of the information here about Mercury using Universe Sandbox 2. Specifically, let's look at its radius. And you'll notice that its radius is not very large. As a matter of fact, it's actually smaller than some of the moons in, uh, in our solar system. And even though it's slightly bigger than our moon, the moon of Earth, it's actually smaller than Ganymede and it's also smaller than Callisto, the two moons of Jupiter. And of course, it's also smaller than Titan, which is the moon of Saturn. So there are three other moons in our solar system that are actually bigger than Mercury in size. And let's actually put a few of them right next to Mercury for comparison. And you also get to see another interesting fact about Mercury is that even though it's smaller than these other uh, moons, and here are all three of them orbiting around Mercury, even though it's actually smaller than them, it is more massive. Uh, so here the mass of Mercury is 4.5 masses of the moon. Ganymede is only about two times the moon, and uh, Callisto is about 1.4 or 1.5 times uh, heavier than the moon and uh, Titan is about 1.83 masses of the moon. So Mercury is actually uh, more massive than at least two of these together, even though it's smaller in size. And that's because of its, of its actual density. It's because of the materials that are on the inside of this planet. Here, it has a lot of iron, and iron is very, very, very dense. As a matter of fact, the density of Mercury is 5.43 grams per centimeter cube, whereas for all of these other moons, it's uh, it's actually below uh, it's below two. Mercury is the second most dense planet after Earth, and Earth is actually only about 5.5 uh, grams per centimeter cube. So Mercury is almost as dense as Earth. In comparison to Mars, which is only 3.93 uh, grams per centimeter cube, that makes Mercury an extremely dense planet. This is actually why it's so massive, but so small. Which also makes it a, a relatively Earth-like planet, which is actually what we see right here. It's about 58% Earth-like. And the only real difference between Mercury and Earth is that, first of all, it's obviously a little bit closer to the, to the Sun. But second of all, it's also a little bit smaller in size and less massive. So it's actually only about 6% mass of Earth, uh, so it's relatively small in comparison, but it's still really, really dense, and the amount of iron on the inside of this planet uh, also makes it the planet with the most iron in our solar system. So if we ever miss iron, or if we ever need any iron, we can always come here and try to mine it, because this, has, this planet has the most iron. And it does have a liquid iron core, which is why if I were to go in here and enable its magnetosphere, you would see that it also has a magnetosphere. It's only about 1% of magnetosphere on Earth, but it's strong enough to protect it from some of the solar winds from the sun and also obviously uh, maintain a very, very thin atmosphere on the surface. 
So this is actually one of the few planets uh, in our solar system that has a magnetosphere. And even though Mars and Venus don't, um, Earth and Mercury do. And because of this magnetosphere, Mercury has a very, very thin ionic atmosphere. It uh, contains a lot of ions, uh, which basically make this not a true atmosphere, but it does have a specific word for it that uh, scientists used. Uh, it, it's usually known as the exosphere, So, but it's obviously very different from what we have on Earth or even on Mars. And as a matter of fact, because of the ions that are on this planet, specifically sulfur and a lot of other uh, components that are known for a really bad smell, if we could actually breathe here, it would smell really, really bad. A lot of the uh, molecules that stay in this atmosphere are just really stinky. And that's basically the 10 facts I wanted to mention uh, about Mercury, things that you may have not known before. Uh, and if you do know any more facts, please post them in the comments below so that we can actually update them in one of the future videos. But before we finish this video, let's actually compare Mercury to our planet. Let's see how smaller, how much smaller it is than uh, planet Earth. And of course, let's actually uh, help it pay a visit to our planet. We're going to place it somewhere nearby. Uh, somewhere close to Earth, so this is basically what the size difference is, and uh, obviously this this planet is going to completely annihilate uh, our our beautiful planet. But that's okay. We're going to assume that this will never happen because it probably never will happen. Uh, but knowing that um, these two planets will probably create something interesting when they smack into each other, let's make it happen. So here comes Mercury. It's going to visit Earth. And I'm, go I'm going to take a guess that uh, Mercury will probably separate into many, many different fragments that will then land on the opposite side of, the, of our planet as well. And this will most likely also destroy all of the water on the surface. But let's see what the new shape of Earth will look like after they are done meeting each other. This is not, not a particularly exciting meeting, uh, but the, uh, watching collisions in this game is always beautiful. So uh, those are essentially the 10 facts I wanted to mention. And I think the, the most interesting fact for me was uh, realizing that even though Mercury is so hot uh, because it's so close to the sun, uh, it actually is also very, very cold. So even though it's not the hottest planet in our solar system, it's actually the coldest planet in our solar system, which for me was uh, quite mind blowing. I didn't really realize until I started researching this planet that it was so cold, at least in the dark parts and also in those craters that I showed you before. Um, of course, this is something that you don't really think about when you think of Mercury. And the temperature differences on, on that planet are also the highest in our solar system, with anywhere between uh, minus 200 degrees Celsius in the dark side to uh, plus 250 degrees Celsius on the bright side. And some of these temperatures can change dramatically in uh, literally in, in hours. Anyway, so let's uh, we're going to change this manually to make it a little bit uh, cooler and let's see what the surface of our new planet Earth looks like. Oh look, there's still some resemblance of continents here uh, and as it becomes darker and oh, it starts to require water, that's good. We're going to advance time here just to make it spin a little bit faster and as it sort of balances out and tries to uh, regain its different uh, previous shape. So let's see what we get here. So obviously, because there is a lot less, uh, more surface, but a lot less water now, um, we'll have a lot bigger continents. And some of these continents will still kind of resemble the old continents, but everything will, of course, look very different from before. And so here we go. This is what the new planet Earth looks like. No more greens, no more city lights, a lot of really dark brown-ish looking shapes and actually all of the continents that we used to know are kind of gone. I, I thought I saw Africa for a second, but I don't really see it anymore. So this is what would happen if Mercury one day smacked into us. It's very unlikely to happen, but you never know. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully now you'll learn a little bit more about the beautiful and unusual Mercury. So that's all I wanted to say and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends and someone who you think will like space videos. And don't forget to mention any other facts that you know about Mercury that I may have not mentioned. Thank you for watching and game you later guys. Bye bye.